Hello, Psych2Goers. We just want to take the time to thank you for all of your kind support. We are a team of dedicated, passionate, and hardworking individuals who come together every day with one goal in mind. We want to make psychology come alive for you. We are self-funded and recently launched our Patreon. If you enjoy the work that we do and find it meaningful, please stick around until the end of the video for information on how to get more involved with us and all the cool rewards you can get from us. We hope you enjoy this video. We're all selfish to a certain degree, but problems only develop when it reaches a high level of self-centeredness that teeters on the edge of narcissism. If you have a family member, romantic partner, or a coworker that makes you feel invisible because they rarely pay attention to your needs, know that you're not alone. Here are six effective ways to deal with selfish people. 1. Try to understand what is triggering their selfish behavior. Psychotherapist F. Diane Barth emphasizes the idea that understanding does not mean letting someone off the hook, but learning about what is motivating someone to be selfish and detecting their patterns can help you be less dismissive of their behavior. As humans, it is an instinct to be selfish. Children, for instance, are naturally selfish because learning to understand the feelings and needs of others is something taught to them as they get older. Elderly people and those with illnesses are also selfish because it's a way of survival. When you learn about what is motivating someone else's selfishness, then you can understand why it is sometimes essential. 2. Try not to take their selfish actions personally. Instead, stay true to yourself. It's easy to get wrapped up in someone else's accusations. If someone is making you feel bad for not paying enough attention to them, know that you don't have to stoop to their level, nor do you have to take their words or actions personally. It's not your job to serve someone at their own time and convenience. If you think you're in a toxic friendship, check out our video, Ways to Recognize Toxic Friendships, for more helpful advice. Being around a self-centered person can be overwhelming and exhausting that you may experience bouts of anger, frustration, or sadness. Know that you are still in control and that you don't have to be reactive towards their selfishness. Instead, focus on alleviating the pressure you feel through your favorite hobbies or fun events. 3. Become familiar with the misconceptions about selfishness. There are many misconceptions about selfishness. For instance, according to Barth, it is common in our culture to believe that having kids is a selfless act and that not having kids is selfish. But people can have kids for selfish reasons, such as a way to be loved, bond more closely with a spouse, or to fulfill a parent's wish. This is why it's crucial to examine circumstances carefully and reevaluate what is considered selfish or selfless. People can be selfish without knowing it. Help them understand their motives behind their actions. 4. Bring up topics you're interested in discussing during conversations. If you feel uncomfortable always listening to someone else talk about themselves, you can interject in a non-combative way. Whether you enjoy art, music, or philosophy, you can change a subject midway through a conversation with a simple question such as, Hey, have you heard of so-and-so? Or with a statement like, Last night I came across X, Y, and Z. Initially, it may seem abrupt and even random, but this gives the person a hint that the two of you have been spending too much time on their stories. If you find that the individual keeps trying to go back to their own topic, you can politely remind them that you've already heard about it. This will prevent you from giving into their attention-seeking ways. 5. Limit the amount of time that you spend together and hang out with supportive people. Space always helps. When you limit the amount of time that you spend together with a selfish person, you can obtain more freedom to take care of your own happiness and be who you are instead of getting caught up in meeting their needs. This is more approachable than shutting them out altogether, especially if the selfish individual is a family member or a coworker that you cannot easily avoid. When you set healthy boundaries, you're reminding them that the world does not revolve around them. It also gives you the opportunity to spend more time with supportive friends and family members who believe in helping you grow and evolve. This will prevent you from being stuck with fulfilling someone else's responsibilities. 6. Learn the difference between healthy selfishness and toxic selfishness. When you constantly deal with a selfish person, you often experience guilt for putting yourself first. Remember, you're not doing anything wrong. Taking care of yourself is a right that you have, but toxic selfish people can manipulate you into thinking otherwise. This is why it's essential to practice self-love. We all need a healthy degree of selfishness to sustain our mental health and well-being. When you recognize toxic patterns of selfishness, you can break out of them by choosing not to give in to them. Treat yourself every once in a while and fulfill your own desires and needs. You're important too. Are you dealing with a selfish person in your life? Please share your thoughts with us below. 
Also, don't forget to subscribe for more content from Psych2Go and check out our Patreon. We started it because we want to grow into a bigger platform that reaches more people who are in need of help. With your contribution, you can receive our PSI pendant, t-shirt, issues of our magazine, and many more membership benefits. Your funding will help us produce quality script writing, voiceovers, and animation that makes our content both entertaining and educational. We want to make sure our community members get the best and only the best. Thanks for watching!